just talk about what Willie gave you, especially in the second half, energy-wise and effort? Willie's really, he, Willie's playing well. He still faded away in a couple jumpers or a couple shots that he didn't need to. But the good news is he's really confident in himself shooting free throws now. And that makes a big difference in how you play. Because now you'll be aggressive and try to score because you're not afraid to get fouled. Um, you know, all in all, to play a team that, you know, they were holding people to 33% from the floor. They were first in block shots in the country. Um, they were shooting almost 50% from the floor. We hold them to 36 and, and, and can't make a jumper, James Young, and, and, you know, still played okay. I thought, again, we got better. We got better because the Twins played harder, longer. They're still a ways away. Let me just tell you, they're a ways away. But they played harder. Um, I thought Julius in the second half ran the floor and did what he had to. But I'm going to tell you, we're going back to old school. Um, and I'm, I'm going to ask like a dumb question. Any of you ever play basketball or are you just right? If you ever play, if you ever play, do you ever see when they used to tell you to put your hands behind your back and defend that way? That's how we were all taught. Now, you never played any sport, so don't say anything. So now I'm about to say something you would play. Yeah. <laughs> but they made you put your hand behind your back, both hands, and defend the guy as he's trying to go around you because the only thing you could do is move your feet. Guess what we're going to do? We're going back to that. Now, you may say, well, that's seventh grade. I don't really care. What we did prior to leg work, do you guys know what wall sits are? Do you know what wall sits? So when you went away to camp, they made you sit against the wall because you were a bad kid or whatever. Our pre, my talk to the team before practice for five, six minutes is their wall sitting. And they're pushing, they're carrying a 50 pound bag that they got to pass to each other. For like six minutes, they wall sit. Why? Because I can't get them to get in a defensive stance. So at least for seven minutes of the day, I know they're going to be in a defensive stance. They're going to be down. Then we did leg work. Do you remember leg slides? Where you're competing against the guy and you're touching the line, you have to slide, 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 slide. We did that. Now we're going to put lines on the court and you've got to keep the guy in front of you and not let him around you with your hands behind your back. So it's what we got to do. I mean, I, again, we're, we're getting better. We're showing signs. Um, Coach Hall made me feel really good yesterday. He said, would you stop? you got a, the youngest team in the country. Just They're going to come, and then that's always going to come on your terms. It's, it's going to hit them at some point. It'll hit them, and you'll say, wow, they're finally figuring it out. We're not there yet. John, two things. Based on what you just said, are there fundamentals just that bad that you're doing that? No, it's, they st it's all about, it's not fundamentals. They're, they're good basketball players. They got good hands, they can catch, they can pass, they can dribble, they can shoot. It has nothing to do with that. They have always played comfortably. They never have put, well, like we're doing leg work and the one kid says, my legs are burning. Well, that's what it's supposed to feel like. <laughs> like you've never felt that before? And so we're doing stuff to push, make them because I can't get them by doing things five on five to push through that comfort level, so I'm just doing stuff. We're, do you know what 17 cross court in a minute, which is like ridiculous? We're doing 17 cross court, takes you a minute, right to a defensive drill that you had to do for 30 seconds. Now, I'm asking you to go a minute and a half. You cannot go one minute and a half. That's really hard what I'm asking you to do. But that's the kind of stuff I'm doing right now. I trust their basketball. Now, we didn't shoot it well today. We made free throws, but we didn't shoot it particularly well today. And we had open shots, but it's not basketball with these guys. It's will they compete? Will they look at the other guy and say, I'm competing with this guy? I thought Alex was good. I thought he had more points. But I thought Alex was better today. See, here's the thing that happened. Last game, Alex shot an air ball. He was done for eight minutes. Done. He was so embarrassed he couldn't, he couldn't think, couldn't play. Dominique shot an air ball. And I went to Dominique and I said, you shot an air ball? He said, no, I didn't. I said, you shot an air ball? No, I didn't. We're going to go watch the tape. 
He said, I watched the tape. And he watched and he shot an air ball. And he goes, man, I didn't know I shot an air ball. He had already forgotten. And that's the difference. you got to play that way. you got to have amnesia. can't worry about a turnover, a missed shot, a breakdown. Um, but it's where we're trying to go and what we're trying to do with this team, which makes it, you know, again, too many turnovers. You know, James and Julius had ten turnovers between them. Come on. Too good basketball players. Um, but that zone, I'm telling you, that zone, you know, I'm happy that we won the game. I'm happy that they played the way they played. Um, you know, that's a good basketball team. Are you to the point you're concerned about three-point shooting or not? No. No, you know we don't rely on three. I've never played coach that way. If we make them, we beat you by 30. If we don't, we're just trying to win the game. You know what I'm saying? You just, I don't, the three is not, I don't play it that way. I think part of the reason my guys go to the next level and play well, we're teaching them how to play basketball, not a shooting contest. We're teaching you how to play. If we make threes, great. If we don't make threes, we're still able to win the game because I'm teaching you how to drive the ball, play off of one another, play when you're not making shots. I asked James today, it was your C game, but you still did enough to help us win. You still rebounded the ball. You still came up with some balls. You defended better, you know, so. John, and over here. another slow start tonight, something you talked about the other night. Have you had teams in the past, just the personality is they start slow and there's not a lot you can do about it? Well, part of it is the other teams we play here, this is like a big thing. Like, they walk into that arena, 25,000 people. Jerry will give you exact attendance, but I think it's 24, 25,000 people. And they walk in, and they're like, was it less? More. More? More. More. <laughs> so today we had 26,000. <laughs> <laughs> but they walk in, and they see a packed arena, and they're, it's, it's, how many times have they had that opportunity? And then to beat Kentucky? I remember Mark Godfrey told me, you have to have no idea, Cal. If we beat Kentucky in Lexington when he was at Alabama, he said, I didn't sleep for a week. You don't understand. Everybody that plays you, that's how it is. So they're going to come out of the gate, and we don't understand that yet. I got too many young guys. They think they're just playing, and it's a nice game. And Why are you going nuts? Well, they're fighting. They're, 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 they're going to – we have to figure it out, and we're going forward. The teams that we're playing from Providence, Baylor, Boise, Belmont, Carolina, Louisville, these next games, we could lose every one of them. And every one of those guys are going to come out of the gate playing. You get down 15 nothing to one of those teams, you don't come back. They're too good of teams. So we've got to get guys understanding, and I think they will.